Hey, it's Phil Simon, author of Slack for Dummies. One of the first questions that I get from new Slack users is, how do I deal with trolls, people who harass you on Slack? In this video, I am going to show you a few of your options. Let's go. Walter Sobjack, Big Lebowski, favorite character, great guy. He's in my workspace and he's sending me messages. Why aren't you responding? I'm typing in my other monitor. So Slack is notifying me that he is bugging me. I've got a couple of options here, right? Certainly I can mute him. If I click here on details and go down to more, I can mute this conversation. So if I switch to another Slack channel or another person or go to apps, it really doesn't matter. Slack is awesome. Now if Walter sends me another message like, Man, you are bald. I know I am. I own it. Slack doesn't send me a notification, but it does put this red badge here. Right? So it's very subtle. doesn't stop me from what I'm doing, but at the same time, it notifies me that I have a new message from Walter. Also, notice how when I muted him, Slack made him a lighter gray. See my mouse here? Smart. Very nice way of doing it. Let's say that I go back and forth with Walter and he is just not letting up. He calls me worse things than bald. I own it. <clears throat> what can I do with Walter? What is my nuclear option? I'm going to go here under settings and administration, manage members. Let's go. In my other screen, which I'll bring up right here, boom. If all else fails under manage members, I can deactivate him. Guess what? Now he can't bother me anymore. I have kicked him out of the workspace. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. You can have an intelligent discussion with someone about his or her behavior. But Walter, if you've ever seen Le Big Lebowski, is not a reasonable individual. This is Phil Simon, author of Slack for Dummies. Till next time.